First dog to go then, Ailey Murray and Millie. And we're off. This is Ellie Murray with Millie. Toy Poodle. <laughs> Millie on that far side from where we are. Yes, just made contact at the bottom of that A-frame. That is okay. So faultless so far. Neat and fast over the ground, definitely this one. Not hanging around at all. Good contact at the end of the seesaw too. Tight turn there, dog walk is okay good contact at the bottom of that dog walk how about the weaves in from the right daintily and nippily through those weaves as well big applause from the judge and a good finish clear round 36.9 Ailey Murray and Millie setting a high standard from the off ground oh what a start that is she gets a big round of applause from me as well what a great start really really well done fantastic Stacey Frost and Herbie. Next to go. First time together at Crofts for these two. 36.9 and clear to beat Amy Murray. It's a good confident start as well. The next dog will ask Graham to take you throughout the round to see exactly what face them exactly the problems of this particular course. This is okay, perhaps not quite as quick as the first dog. Weaves have to pick up speed through there, have to pick up speed, and it is good. And 36.6, it is good, and it is inside that, uh, that time as well. So Stacy Frost and Herbie, 2.36s and two clear rounds. Great start to the competition, and that's only going to put pressure on the people to come, so hopefully it's going to build up to a fantastic climax as we get into it. Lucas Irwin Burns and Sam Jack Russell across Cavalier. Bronze last year in the European Junior Open. These two have proper pedigree. Great competitions building up here. Did it make contact at the bottom of that A frame? Yep. Sam did. They really are embracing this competition tonight. Lucas Irwin Burns and Sam over the dog walk. Again, okay, they did make contact at the end of it. This is going to be fast as well. Three to go. Kennel Club at the end. This will be really quick. 33.0 gets better and better, Graham. Oh, destroyed it. Three seconds, three and a half seconds just about inside the course time. But as you say, he's been there, done it. Very experienced competitor. But, uh, well, there are still some great dogs to come. Catherine Lowe's is next to go with Timmy, the German Spitz. On you go, Graham. Yep, and here we go. Dog's just uh, having a little think about it. Into the tunnel now. She's got to come out there and go over the A-frame. Oh, and little Tinker's gone back there. And there we see Nick Jones, the judge, with the crossed arms. The dog went into the tunnel, which wasn't the correct obstacle. And therefore, the crossed arms means that the dog was eliminated. Such a shame. I mean... As you say, you see this little girl um, running around, probably about her and the dog are probably just about the same size, I think. Uh, it's a big, big ask. Uh, biggest and best dog show in the world, the green carpet, the cameras, everything else that's going on. But when she comes back next year and wins it, she'll say that this stood her in really good stead. <laughs> big crowd really taking to this one. <laughs> in your own time, in your own time. Just doesn't like the look of that cameraman, and I don't blame him. <laughs> well done. And the crowd giving her absolutely fantastic round of applause. But, as you say, she's straight down there making a fuss of the dog, and that's what we like to see. The dog comes first. Yeah, we are just a bit of a... <laughs> oh, I'm not sure whether I can do this or not. Perhaps I can. It, Isabel Wakefield and Lulu is next to go. Penultimate small dog, this one 33.0 and a clean clear round is what they have to beat. And this one, I think, is also Lulu, the American Cocker Spaniel, very much doing things uh, his way. And I don't think this one already is going to threaten the leaders. It's nice and neat, a little hesitation. 
up over the seesaw there. Lovely again, a little bit of hesitation. Gets onto the dog walk at the end. Well done, Isabel. Good contact too. And a bit of a slither and a bit of a change of pace and change of direction. Missing the entrance there. Got to come in on the right-hand side through that first pole. He did, and then, as you say, you saw Nick Jones there with a, with a clenched fist, which meant that it was a refusal. But well done to Isabel Wakefield. Great effort. She's talking to that dog, saying, you get the end of it, please. <laughs> and then here we go into the weaving poles. They have to go between the first and second, and it went between second and third and picked up that clenched fist. Last of the small dogs, then. Imogen White with Boo. Very excited at being here at all, these two. Obviously very nervous as well. 33.0 set by Erwin Burns. Lucas is what they are aiming for this time round. <laughs> we are seeing the crossed arms again from our judge elimination. Sadly, explain that one, Graham. Unfortunately, she went uh, the, over the jump in the wrong direction, and that's the wrong course, and that means an elimination. But what a lovely little dog. Really, really well done. Just on the seesaw there, and you see, runs round and then goes over the jump in the opposite direction. Such a shame. We move up to the first of four medium dogs now. Claire Maitland and Tia. First dog uh, for Claire. First time at Crufts for these two as well. A big time. They're trying to beat just over 33 seconds and clear. All small, medium and large dogs lumped together in this one just to remind you. Great jumping there uh, from Tia. And it's clear and it's pretty quick as well at the moment. The dog walk, just a bit of hesitation over the first part of that dog walk, making the contact point well. This is going to be good. This is going to be right up there. Needs a quick finish and sadly going to have to go back and start those weaves again. And that's ruined it. And again, oh dear, this the weaves have uh, been very, very costly. The first of the medium dogs. And that round, Claire, Maitland, and Tia. So we're just now altering the height of the jumps for the next category. And while they're doing that, I just, I just want to tell everyone again, I just can't stress how much of a big ordeal it is for these, um, for these young Kennel Club members. It's bad enough when you're, um, when you're just a little bit older and you've been there and done it and seen it. But um, as you say, to be here on this green carpet in front of this fantastic crowd really is a big deal for them. And nerves do play a major part. And I think they're just coping so, so well here, Jim. So this is the first of the medium dogs, Grace Williams and Rocco, nicknamed the Little Prince, this one, tends to rule the roost at home, first of the medium dogs to go. Handling this course really, really well, you'll see her, and as I say that, she just <laughs> almost, almost runs past the end of the seesaw. You'll see her twisting and turning, using her arms, using her voice. The only thing she can't do is touch the dog. Must go to the right of that first weaving pole and then in and out until they get to the end. Any mistake must be rectified. They're coming up for a big finish to the end. Well done to Grace Williams and Rocco. Very nice round there. She's 
just pushed the dog to the side of the seesaw there, but uh, wasn't faulted. Good enough for fourth place. Holly Archer and Kona Border Collie next to go. 12 to 17 years at the age group. Medium dogs. This one still that time at the top. 33 seconds and clear. And then another elimination. Go on, Graham. Just, just explain that one. Yeah, unfortunately, came inside the dog, the jump that she was supposed to be taking, and took it from the wrong side. But as always, completing the round, the dog doesn't realise what has happened, and uh, nor does Holly. Holly Archer. It's a good finish to this round as well. What a shame. Elimination, though. Enlighten us all, Graham. Yeah, all happens in the in the blink of an eye. So she came off the A-frame, over the jump, and then the dog just came in, realised that she wanted it to go out, and unfortunately took the wrong side of the jump. Evie Thompson next to go with Bella. Springer Cross Prudel. Complete dream of a dog, this one, 10 years of age. 10 years of age, people say to me all the time, what age do dogs go on to when they're competing? Uh, basically, the dogs will tell you that this dog's obviously still... <laughs> it's a little bit distracted, but he's still doing really, really well at 10 years of age. And the dogs usually tell you when it's time to stop. You just need to take notice of it when they do tell you. And again, this very much just to underline, if you're just joining us, these are very much the agility handlers of the future. We're watching the young kennel club. A lot to learn, a lot to pick up. This is massive experience for them, no matter how things go on the green carpet at Crufts. Just the five points picked up for the refusal there for Evie and for Bella. Completing the round. Have to go, go back uh, through those weaves again, so that'll... Uh, ruin any chance of her being in at the really sharp end of the competition and just wants to keep going through, through the weeds go on go on Bella this time yeah lovely and a final three in the kennel club as the finale so well done to Bella oh just distracted by something probably never been in this uh, environment before and again, unfortunately, we have all sorts of displays and everything else, and people do tend to drop things while they're out there on the green carpet. So just picking up that sense. So you'll see now that the jump heights are being raised. We're now going to see uh, the large dogs in this category. Again, the course remains the same. And again, lovely, lovely course designed by Nick Jones. She's been judging all day in the YKC ring, all the agility events, and then uh, she comes down here to judge this event here in the evening, which is a relatively uh, new innovation, and, and I think she deserves to be down here. She's done a fantastic job. Just one or two little problems. One of the cameras on the course as we await the arrival of the first of six large dogs. Young Kennel Club Agility Dog of the Year competition. First of the six large dogs, Blair Hands and Rosie, Border Collie, climax of the competition. Who is going to be the Young Kennel Club Agility Dog of the Year? We're getting to the nub of things now. Top of the pile at the moment, Erwin Burns Lucas. No penalties and 33 seconds as well. Early faults picked up by Blair Hands and by Rosie. That's a complex part of it. Course. Good contact at the end, deliberate contact. It won't be the quickest round we have seen this. Dog walk is okay. Bit of hesitation at the end there. Tight turn. What about the weaves? That's the right way to go in. And that's the right way to go through. Three to go. That's quite tidy. 41.8 and five faults for Blair and for Rosie. Good enough for fifth. It is now. And just following the handle past the A-frame. Mistake easily made. Such a shame. This is Amy Challenge. 
Amy Chalice next to go with the Border Collie Island. Been here many times, these two. They love this green bays as well. Competed for Great Britain in the junior squad. And they were lucky enough to win the Young Kennel Club jumping last year. So we expect great things here. 33 seconds to beat, 14 on the clock and ticking at the moment. But it is clear and it's nice and neat from Amy and from Ireland. This is good. Hushed crowd here. Can she beat that time? Good, good. Quick finish needed. Quick finish needed. Go on. Very close. Oh, yes. 32.8. Just inside it. Brilliant stuff. Amy Chalice and Ireland. Top of the pile. That was a cracking run. Brilliant. Great style. One footing either side through the weaves. Having a ball, that dog. Rory Tidmarsh and Mr. Red, Border Collie. 32s, they've got to get in the 32s to win this now. The intensity of the competition rising all the time. The Young Kennel Club Agility Dog of the Year definitely coming to the boil. That's a good quick start as well by Rory and by Mr. Red yelping his way around at that top end. <laughs> skidding and trying to get as quickly as he can this is good this is very very speedy and neat and thoughtless so far dog walk is absolutely no problem a breeze over that. oh just didn't make the contact at the end what a shame that is this is going to be the quickest i'm sure last three to go very very quick 31.8 for rory and mr red what about those five faults what a shame such a shame he knew he had to go for it and he'd been pushing his contacts all the way around the course and uh, it was just one too many contact to push really in and then made the mistake but a great great time sixth place so, taylor lion and Tarek border collie again all these dogs know they're gonna have to really really push to get inside 32.8 and to go clear as well don't take your eyes off it this is good that was a good contact over the a-frame good speed as well tunnel in out fine over that wall looking to pick the speed up down that far side of the course this is good seesaw is fine as well right up with the clock 23 seconds over the dog walk this could threaten a lot of things that's clean as well the weaves the weaves now have given problems no problem though for Tarek this is going to be close this is going to be really really close 35.7 I am just in awe, Jim. Absolutely in awe. I mean, look at the size of that little girl and look at the size of the dog. How she handles that dog was just absolutely fabulous. Emily Biggins and Bridie, Border Collie. Absolutely delighted to be here. The penultimate large dog. So much pressure on these two if they're going to threaten that 32.8 by Amy Chalice that is leaving it at the moment there's confusion it's okay precious precious seconds left lost there and five faults as well and that is an elimination go on Graham well unfortunately she was supposed to do the seesaw but the dog decided that uh, wanted to do the dog walk and that was a wrong call, so unfortunately uh, that was an elimination signal there by the judge. But she'll keep going. As I say, it's really important, especially uh, with these younger dogs. We've talked about the younger handlers. We also ought to say that a lot of these dogs haven't appeared um, in this sort of uh, pressure either. So you want to make it a positive experience. And she does that, the dog goes straight out to its toy because that's its reward. Just a little bit of confusion. Oh, did you see the clenched fist? Just, oh, I've made a mistake. Oh, oh. Last to go then, Rebecca Tudor Smith and early faults for Peach, which will not help their quest to be the Young Kennel Club Agility Dog of the Year. Rebecca. And crossed arms, 
All of you not familiar with this, we can't say it often enough. Crossed arms equal an elimination. Big crowd here encouraging the dog all the way around. Well done, Rebecca. Really unlucky. A couple of dogs have picked up that dog walk. And as you say, when you have the first jump down, it just deflates you just a little bit because you know that uh, your chances have gone. And there, as you see, she just moved across and pushed the dog onto the dog walk. Such a shame. And the final result, the Young Kennel Club Agility Dog of the Year is Amy Chalice and Ireland. Tremendous. Only one in the 32s. Lucas Irwin Burns in second place and Taylor Lyon in the top three there. A much improved competition to what we saw last year, that is for sure. Congratulations on that course that was set really well, bearing in mind the standard and quality of dog that we have seen and handler as well looking at the handlers of the future here and tidying up the result of the young kennel club agility dog of the year 2019. That uh, completes the agility for day one of Crocter 2019. And from Graham Partridge and Jim Rosenthal, many, many thanks for your company. There's a lot more still to come, though, from the main arena here at Crofts. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now. Delighted this evening uh, to be joined by Mr. Paul Moore, who's going to be presenting our awards this evening. He's also our Agility Champ judge on Sunday. So we're going to go straight into the presentation of awards and winning the Crufts 2019 Young Kennel Club Agility Dog of the Year is Amy Chalice with Luandi Island Storm. Island, aren't you? 
Thank you very much. Okay, and the runner-up of the Young Kennel Club Agility Dog of the Year, Crufts 2019, is Lucas Irwin Burns with Lucas's Little Soppy Sam. Come over here, Lucas. So I think you'll agree, ladies and gentlemen, our juniors have given us an absolutely fantastic display of agility this evening. Let's put our hands together for all of our junior handlers. They've worked hard all day uh, to qualify here for the main arena at Craft. So they're going to do their lap of honour. Let's cheer them as they do their lap of honour around the arena.